Hi, welcome back to the cabin, dinky do, dinky do. Welcome back. Yeah, please excuse my attire. I've got my tracky bottoms on. I've had a busy old day. I've been cleaning the cabin, and I mean cleaning it from top to bottom. We've got visitors tomorrow. We've got Susie and Scott from Glasgow. They're coming see us because they're catching the ferry tomorrow night. So they're going to come tomorrow afternoon, see us for a few hours, and then get the ferry. And then they're on the the, the weekend warriors. So they've got a big motor home, I've shot it before and they're travelling all around Scotland and eventually Britain and everywhere. So I'm looking forward to seeing them tomorrow. So in the next video you might see a picture of them in my, in my cabin if I can persuade them to have a photo. So at today I've been cleaning the cabin and I mean cleaning it because with Susie coming a woman, she, you've got to get it just right so it's clean, aren't you? Uh, do you know, she comes and sometimes as she'll say, you're not looking after yourself properly in. I goes, right. She says, let me over for you. I'm going, no, I don't want you to over. No, let me over. Are you eating properly? You think, bleeding hell. So she's like that. Now, Kev, believe it or not, believe it or not, Kev's not been so good again. He's got a bit of a bug. He's, at, he's feeling weak all the time. He's not so good. So that's why he's not been coming on camera for a while. He, he's just been hit and miss with this bug. It, see, it will it, it's lingering as he says it's not going so so what he has done he has been making a start on the back tidying it all out and what he's found which i forgot i got was you know best way to describe it for me anyway is when you go to hospital <laughs> just just me to say hospital but you go to hospital and what they have is them big big uh fireman's reels on the reel, big big red tube coming out and big holes on it and they're like the full funnel on and then it connects to the tap in the hospital for the water and if there was a fire they pull it on the reel and do it. I got one of them years and years and years ago. I actually got it from the tip at Stram in uh, Les Walt Tip. There used to be a tip here. So when my dad used to come to visit he used to take me to the tip and uh, the old boy on a Sunday were brilliant. He used to say, look, give me a box of tea bags. You can take what you want. Oh, that were it. I was in all the skips, me looking around. Me. <laughs> My dad used to say I'd come back with more crap than what he used to. But I got this reel. So what I've decided to do is I'm going to clean it all up and tidy it up. And if there's any rust on it, which I don't think there is, I'll paint it up red, uh, touch it up with red. And what I'm going to do is in the other room, I've got that fire bucket of my granddad's. So I'm going to move that forward and I'm going to put the reel on the wall. It'll be a nice feature on the wall. So that'll look good. So I'm going to be doing that in the next week or so. Cleaning it up because it's really, really mucky. So I think what I'll do is I'll pull it all the way out and then clean the pipes all the way through and then jet wash it all, I think. So that's the best, best thing to do with that. Now, before we start, thank you so, so much to everybody for subscribing to the channel. Thank you. I've got just over 40,000 subscribers. I'm trying to get me 100,000. You know that. I've mentioned it before and I get a little plaque. If I get a plaque, I'm going to put it in the other room underneath the Mr. Mansfield plaque that I've got because Paul, who's on the channel, he bought me a plaque. Because what it was, when I've been building this extension, if you don't know, when I've been building all this extension, I've called it all the Mansfield Wing. Because my woodwork teacher, when I was growing up, he was brilliant at secondary school, called Mr Mansfield. And he always said to me, he always used to say, and I know I've mentioned it before, but if you're new to the channel, you won't know. He always used to say, to be honest with you, you'll never make it as a joiner. Honestly, you're terrible. But he said, if you find something in life and you stick with it, you're going to do really well. So, so I built all that cabin with no building skills at all. So it's not too bad. It's not blown over yet. <laughs> So, so Paul, very kindly a few years ago, which is pride of place on the wall and will never come down, he's, got a, he's bought me a plaque saying the Mansfield Wing. Now underneath that, like I said, if I can lucky enough to get me 100,000 and get a plaque off YouTube, because if you get 100,000 subscribers, you get a plaque off YouTube, which is a big achievement to get 100,000, because a lot of small channels never reach that. If I get that, I'm going to put it underneath and Mr Mansfield will be dead proud looking down on me, I think. So that's that. Now I've got some news for you. My brother Stuart, 
he's having a few alterations done on the house. So he's been tidying, going through all the cupboards and because where it was, my mother passed away about five, six years ago and she was a hoarder. Right? We're all hoarders in the family. It's a genetic thing apparently, hoarders. So, so he's finally decided to go through all the stuff. So I mentioned, I think in the last video, that she, he's got me an old banjo that was my granddad's, which I'm really chuffed about, so he's going to send that up. But what he's been doing, he's been going through the old photos, and, what, and he said that he was going to do me a parcel with everything in it, and send it up. Well obviously, because he's got so much he's sorted, he's not got round to that, but what he has done, right, what he has done, he sent me a, pa uh, a jiffy bag full of photos, right, so I'm going to show you some of these photos now, so I hope I'm not boring you, right? The first photo, right, will make my dad cringe because this photo is my dad when he was really, really young. And I mean really young. And it does look, it looks just like my dad actually. You can see with the features here that it's my dad. So I'm going to add that photo now. See, I'm going to, I've held him to ransom now. Because my birthday coming up, I might be able to dig up some more photos, Dad. So unless you want them showing, you go look after me on my birthday. <laughs> yeah. Right now, the other photos I've got is my brother used to own three bakeries in Bolton, but he's retired now. So I used to work for him as a baker when I was about 17, 18, and he took some photos of me as a baker in the bakehouse. I used to love working in the bakehouse. So I'm going to add them photos now, me in the, in the bakehouse, my brother's bakehouse. Right, I'm going to add them. Uh, look at that now. I've got another photo. Right, this is a brilliant photo. This is me ironing a shirt. They might think, oh, what's so special about that? It's me getting ready to go on my first date that I ever went on with a lass from the church called Heather. Right, I won't say a second name. Her name was Heather. And I was actually on the phone to the curate of our church asking him to talk me through how to iron a shirt because I'd never ironed one before. That's a true story, that. So I'm going to add the photo now. Uh, I'm really skinny there, aren't I? So now, I've got a couple of photos I'm going to add when I were really young, right? <laughs> the scary photos, honestly. So I'm going to add them now. Now I've got one last photo and my sister's going to go bar me if she watches this. Now this is a photo of me and my sister when she was getting ready to go on a prom night, right? Now you look at me and look the picture and look at me, there's two things about that picture, right? One, I'm very dark tanned in the face because I used to go on the sunbed and everyone used to think I was foreign, true. And secondly, that red shirt I've got on used to be my pulling shirt and I used to go around town with Kev we used to hit the town on a Friday and Saturday night and that's a shirt I used to wear and I used to get all the dolly birds after me true story that and Kev will tell you that I'm going to add it now, I'm going to add it now yeah so my sister will be going by me now if she sees this you can take that off Take it off now, now pull it down, take it off. I can, I can hear it saying it all to me. So now listen, it's only a short video. I'm going to be doing some, uh, putting some shelves up in the living room in the next few days. So I'm going to film that. And then I've got, well to be honest with you, I've got a load of jobs because what I need to do, I need to do all the boxing off. Boxing in on the outside of the cabin so it's totally wa uh, watertight for winter, which it is watertight, but I won't get all the drafts sealed in and everything so we've got some wood juice so that's coming in the next few days because we're going to run out of wood filling it uh putting all the trim on right now before i go if you could all like subscribe comment and share if you could do that on the videos put comments in um, uh, in down below if you could put a comment really will help thumbs up in the video if you don't mind 
and also if you could subscribe I'm trying to get me 100,000 as you know so every sub everybody who subscribed is getting me there closer so please do that for me now before I go before I go I've got a joke for you you're gonna like this right Tony Blair and George W Bush are sat in the pub on their own having a pint of lager and there's a dog laid on the floor this bloke comes in and he lifts up the tail of the dog and he's having a look and the barman says what are you doing he says well I thought it was strange I was outside and a woman came to me and said there's a dog in there with two arseholes dinky do dinky do hey now listen go leave you in peace I will see you next week back down at the cabin and there will be loads of stuff done I've had a couple of companies contact me to do product reviews so they'll be coming up soon I'm waiting for the stuff to come so hopefully in the next few videos I'll be doing some product reviews of some good stuff as well really good stuff right I will see you all soon I'll see you next time back down at the cabin and remember remember don't ever forget Dinky do. Stay safe, stay well.